What's going on, Malakis? The NCZ3 here, and I'm so glad you stopped by. That's right, you Malakis. No one but you to spend some of your quality time to come hang out with this guy today. And in this video, we're not gonna do anything too fancy schmancy. What I will do is I will give you guys a couple of things you could be doing when you migrate. Um, a lot of the people in the comment sections have actually been asking me, VNN, migration, VNN, migration, VNN, migration. And so let's go ahead and cover that for a bit, all right? A few, th a few checkpoints you guys want to do before you migrate. This is before you consider migrating is one, scope out the kingdom. Like my like my fro hair, right? Like my fro. Anyways, scope the kingdom out, right? Look, I am rank, I think, 24 in this kingdom. Yeah, I'm rank 24 in this kingdom right now. Um, so it's not a bunch of full high mites, okay? We're in K88 in case you guys want to know, right? Um, scope the kingdom out, okay? Figure out who's ruling, who's fighting over forts, all of that good stuff. Pre-plan first, okay? Second, I will absolutely highly recommend making sure that your top end guys are going to be coming with you okay and here's what i mean by that right so i'm rank 24 but you guys maybe missed power right here at rank four right rank four mula ah right and so he came along board i'm, I'm there may ross is there all the all the all the big guys in ic2 are here already all right Make sure that your top end guys are there because I read the comment section so so often and I'm telling you guys I absolutely 100% hear and see comments full of hey guys my guild just broke up because we migrated and none of our top guys wanted to go. I know I don't normally drink like that in my videos but it's water. Anyways what I'm trying to say here fam is that you want to make sure that you okay everything with your guild before you migrate. And you always want your top guys to migrate first. Do not be a low guy and say, Oh, it's only one scroll. Oh, ho, ho. Make sure that you get those guys that are high might so that you're not doing one of these numbers. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Right? Just make sure you're not flapping in the wind, basically, all right? Make sure your top guys are there, because if they are there first, then you guys shouldn't have a war. You guys shouldn't have a problem continuing on what your guild is actually doing. The other thing I would highly recommend that you guys do is pick a spot to hive up at. And I say hive up at the start of the kingdom migration. Now, a lot of guys, I got to do a guide about this at some point, but just in short, Low might guilds, it's really, 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 really bad for you guys to hive because somebody like me at 600 million plus is going to come over, scout a bunch of people, take a bunch of your resources, and just leave. And then tomorrow do the same thing, right? And that's pretty much what I'm going to do. And it's not me being a butthole, it's you guys being idiots for doing it. Spread out, once you guys have been in the kingdom for like at least a couple of weeks, a few weeks, spread out amongst the kingdom so that somebody like me doesn't just use one relocator and nab all of you guys that are unshielded, okay? That's all I'm going to say about that. But if you guys are a higher might guild, stick together, stay together, reinforce each other, make sure you have lookouts like shifts basically, okay? Um, but that's in short detail, right? But I would highly recommend when you first get to the kingdom, every single person huddle up basically and stay hugged for at least one to two weeks, okay? Because when you're invading or when you migrate to a kingdom, a lot of the times the ruling guild or the existing guilds that are already there in that kingdom want to come and fight you. You know what I mean? They're like, hey, buddy, hey, hey, hey. I heard you call my mama a nice lady. She ain't no lady, okay, buddy? You know, you, you kind of get what I'm saying? Like, they'll find any reason to fight you because you're fresh meat, basically, right? And so that brings me back back to my, my first point and my second point. Make sure you guys scout it out first and make sure your big guys are there as well. Like, that should go without saying, but a lot of guys don't do it, okay? But that's what I'm trying to say here, fam. Um, huddle up. You know, we've got kind of a huddle up spot over here. Bank, food, and all that stuff. I've already bookmarked a couple people, right? But these guys right here are already huddling up. They already have the, the right idea. You kind of get what I'm saying there, fam? They have the right idea. And so I would just recommend you do that. I really, really would. Uh, it just It's safety in numbers. Not only that, but it's easy to give each other resources as well so that all your hypers can start producing a lot of resources when you migrate and then start giving it around to everybody who needs it and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, there's that. And so... 
The other big thing I will tell you guys right now, unless you're like sitting at my my like 650, and I'll get into that in a bit. A lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh my god! Oh, he climbed my oh! Well, of course I did, fam. Um, I'll get into that here in a bit, though. All right. Unless you're a higher might player, I don't recommend picking a fight with the ruling guild. I just don't, okay? Not for at least a few weeks, right? And I say a few weeks. Like, I'm not talking one wow or two wows. Look at three or four wows into the future and then kind of suss it out. Is anybody challenging this ruling guild? If they are, well, then maybe, you know, pick and choose who's doing what. Look at all the forts, right? You know, who's fighting over all of the forts? You got CDR right there. We've got uh, F1, uh, FI1 here. You know, what is this right here? YOF right there. You see what I'm saying here, fam? A mixture of guilds own the forts, but they might all be family guilds or allies or whatever the case may be. So always, always, always watch your back. And a pro tip for you guys out there that see something just like this, and I explained this in one of my videos, but some of you guys didn't catch this, but the ruling guild sometimes is beyond misleading. It really, really is. You're like, hmm... 18 million might? I can do this? Hmm. You know what I'm saying, fam? And then you go to their might rankings and you're like, oh, these guys are top end heavy. I see 800, 600, 500, blah, 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 blah. And then I see a bunch of like, you know, like really low end castles. You know what I mean? Like people that can barely fill any amounts of a rally like these guys right here. You know what I mean? But then you don't really look into who owns all the forts and all that stuff and look into their guilds. So the other thing too is check out the ruling guild's diplomacy board, right? Their their public board, I mean. These these this guy right here. Look at all these allies that they've got right here. CDR is with them. So not only they probably lent I don't I don't want to confuse anybody, okay? The ruling guild typically, if they're Chinese, like this, they will lend out higher might players, higher might players to come over here, right? Like the CDR people right here, right? Check this out. Boom, go to Epi. 906 million might this person might just very much well be with the chinese players but they're allies right the spanish and the chinese are allies together i think because they just they don't want to fight with each other because look this guy is this guy is pretty pretty darn geared now the chinese players they do have some pretty good people i think they could go toe to toe with this guy but on the second note i mean why would they want to if they can own the base and they give the forts to cdr and that's all they care about who cares? That's all I'm going to say about that, right? I'll take that trade. And a guild like CDR, these guys are really top-end heavy. I bet you for the WoW battle, if they ever did fight an extended WoW battle, only players at like rank 13 and above are going to join any of the rallies. Most likely, most of their guys in the slot of like, you know, what is it, like rank 8 right here? Rank 8 and above? Or anybody over 400 million is basically going to be the ones fighting all the fights. So, I mean, look, they're both about 18 billion, and so... I don't know. Look, that's what I'm trying to say here, fam. Sometimes it's super misleading. Sometimes it's not actually Spanish and Chinese. I've never seen those guys work together. Um, but yeah, that's some really, really pro tips for you guys just to keep your keep your nose clean, all right? The other pro tips I want to share with you guys have to do with making gems in the Coliseum and all that stuff because your rank just reset, okay? I highly recommend doing this number. Now, you got to pay very close attention. I'm going to pop this music. Ah, stop the music! Okay. So here's the deal, right? This is what you want to do. You want to make sure that when you can just when you're deciding you're going to migrate, you do two things. You do not refresh the Colosseum the day before you migrate, right? And on the day that you migrate, you go directly into the Colosseum and you 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 do your 250, your 400 and your 700 refresh and stop at that. That is three refreshes that you could be doing in order to gain leaps and jumps and bounds over everybody else that migrates with you so that you can continue to make your gems back. And I play on a program called Bluestacks. There's programs like Nox, Andy Emulator, basically any kind of emulating software you can put on your computer. It's super easy. And I know sometimes in the game it's frustrating because you got to swipe to your, your phone and then you've got to you can hit the button, then you got to hit the button again, yada, yada, yada. But in this, I just hit my escape button, click the button, hit escape, go rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat really, really fast. I get all my entries out of the way. I was so tied up today, boys and gals with my family because look, I, I'm a proud father of two girls, you know, one's five, the other one's still a newborn. And long story short, they just pretty much ate up all of my time in the day, literally, 
And so I didn't have any time to do this. Look at this. This is my first refresh of the day, 250. I will do this, right? Just to, I am a firm believer of using my own advice. So typically speaking, look at this. Look at this guy right here. Look at this little troll team right there. You see that troll team? And so a lot of people, what they'll do is they will not do this. And then you find a bunch of guys like this, basically, who are flapping in the wind, essentially. They don't really know or have any kind of like, you know, whatever. And then you've got a bunch of your guild mates that migrated with you as well. And now you're kind of fighting against those guys too. But I don't know. Um, the other thing too I would recommend if you're like me... Um, I would recommend being frugal on your entries. For right now, I'm not trying to be too frugal. I'm actually just trying to get a couple entries done so you guys know I'm pretty serious. But I would continue the 250, 400, and 700 entries all the way until you start making about, about 100 gems per three hours, right? So about rank 300, I would stop doing that. And I would not even refresh anymore, actually, if it was me and I was you guys. I just wouldn't refresh anymore because it, it the way they have it set up right now in the Coliseum, and I do, I really do appreciate it a lot, actually. I really do appreciate it a lot. Is that by gaining ranks, you're not gaining a ton of like... Um, uh, gems per jump, you know, you're getting like, you know, two, three, four, or five, or whatever, right? Like, this is five, 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 twenty. This is when you start getting into the big jumps, is the top 50. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50. This is a, such a small jump, such a small jump right there, it's not worth it. And then 500 at the top, right? I really do appreciate the way they broke that down. I really, truly do um, because it helps a lot of players out. But anyways, guys, hopefully this video is good enough for you guys. Um, you know, there'll be rallies to come. I still have to edit a bunch of rallies out from like K182 and K185. But we are officially, in, or at least I am anyways, in K188. So in case you guys are wondering, and I don't know, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I was able to completely, fully devour an entire rally at like 390 million might and now i'm 653 so just if anybody wants to rally me I'm, I'm happy to take your your troops and your prisoners like i my prisoner needs to get full that's all i'm gonna say about that right and so anyways having said all that stuff guys check this out man a lot of you guys are gonna be like oh he had a bunch of resources and da, 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 da. look bros i had over 200,000 gems on my account well actually i had closer to 300,000. but anyways um, I have, like, no speed-ups, literally, zero. I've got none, like, none left. I've been saving and saving and saving and saving. Um, because when you guys saw me, like, it was, like, on K152, I think is what it was, I didn't didn't fluctuate in might very much, okay? I really didn't. And then K182 was pretty much the same way. I didn't really fluctuate in might. K185, I still didn't, and... Um, you know, towards the end of K185, that's pretty much what I did. I sped, I used all my speed ups, I used all my gems, um, and I still had tons of resources left over, okay? So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know inside the comments. I know there's not a rally, oh, but, um, you know, it's, we're kind of trying to break up the monotony anyways. But y'all know what I'm talking about though, right? Love peace and chicken grease. Be safe. Thanks for stopping by. Just spend some of, yo, cool it! Him. And stay classy. Don't be, don't be jealous of my fro hair. It's my fro hair. Don't be jealous. I know. I know. I know. I'm sexy. Are you sexy? Let me know in the comments. Yeah. And tell him that Slick Daddy. Big. I, I, I. What do you guys think about Slick Daddy VNN? Can I bring him back? What do you guys think? I don't know. Let me know.